there Capricorn welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot this is going to be your weekly intuitive reading Capricorn for November 2nd through to the 8th Capricorn let's see what we have for you on the cards I am beginning with the work your light oracle so the overarching message or theme is for you there it goes it's jumping I have got the ever unfolding rose cracked open it's happening for you not to you so you might be feeling um, a little vulnerable Capricorn this week you know but really it's saying that whatever is happening it's happening to actually um, you know help you evolve in a different sense and I'm really you know feeling that feeling into the vulnerability exposing the heart that may have been previously armored because when we do crack ourselves open although there might be a period where we're kind of feeling everything and there could be hurts and fears and all of those kinds of things that is also the place from which we can feel into our deeper sense of emotional connection go deeper with ourselves therefore we can go deeper with others as well so it is a really beautiful energy of coming back to the heart of feeling it all and of course you know <laughs> We're supposed to feel it all, the good and the bad. And um, yeah, through feeling more, we will have a richer experience in our lives. And I have Tejas here from the Yogic Path. So Tejas is about the subtle essence of intelligence and courage, radiant and glowing. And it says here, Capricorn, that by being your higher self and committing to your truth, you encourage others to do the same. So, you know, just by being that ever unfolding rose, by being in your vulnerability, being in your truth, you know, others around you will open up also. Okay, Capricorn, let's go to the tarot story now. Beginning with the Rider Waite and the energy of the recent past. Energies leaving, competing or transitioning in your life. What you might be journeying. We have got the Eight of Pentacles can be the Worker card. Carving out a new path, maybe. Yeah, maybe a course of study as well. Let's see what else we have. Oh, and that's going to pay off. Going from the Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful energy. Let's get the outcome. Outcome energy, near future for Capricorn. Where is this heading? It is heading to, wow. Well, I'm going to just call it straight off. This is very entrepreneurial energy here. Capricorn, going out on your own, um, you know, working on those pentacles, making it happen, turning that base metal into gold, stepping up. Um, yeah, and maybe it is because you are opening yourself up more as you open up to your own vulnerability and open your heart makes you a much more powerful leader makes you more powerful in your in business and earning potential as well because you have more access to that life force energy clarifying now clarifying the eight of pentacles for you here capricorn i have got the five of wands Clarifying the Nine of Pentacles, I have got the Hermit, also number nine. Clarifying the King of Wands, I have got the Knight of Cups. Okay, I'll be grabbing one more for that Knight of Cups. Another nine, nine of wands. So definitely look up the uh, angel number, 999. Uh, I do like Willow Soul. You can check that out because we have that number appearing three times in this reading. So what have I got here? Yeah, wow. Lovers and Awakening. Okay, that's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's just put this one over here. That's a lot of cards now, Capricorn. We've got what we need. So with the energies here, Capricorn, you know, eight and nine of pentacles, the king of wands, I am feeling more of a uh, personal development, career, work, business kind of energy. You can listen to these readings through the different lenses, you know, lens of love, lens of family, but you generally all kind of feel more one way than the other. I'm feeling a very strong energy here of you going it alone, taking that leap of faith and going out on your own perhaps as a, a sole trader, entrepreneur, um, business owner, or stepping into power, stepping into leadership, 
you know, with all of these kind of, you know, the, the, the Hermit and the Nine of, of Pentacles are very much solo energies. The King of Wands is very much that boss power kind of entrepreneurial energy as well. So let's um, jump in and see <clears throat> how this is unfolding. Recent past, I have Eight of Pentacles, Five of Wands, the Lovers. We have the Energy of Judgment or the Awakening that I have added to the bottom of the deck over to the side. So we'll consider that as well. So I'm kind of feeling in the recent past, you know, there has been some, some conflict um, surrounding this area for you. Five of Wands, you know, can be that energy of people using their personal power in unconstructive ways. It can be inner conflict, can be external conflict. It can be in a workplace, um, you know, pettiness, gossiping, arguing, one-upmanship, all of those kinds of things. And I just really feel Capricorn that you are above this energy. You've had enough. You've had enough of, you know, that happening in areas where you don't have the control. And I'm kind of feeling this is the, the launch pad for you to go, you know what? I know I've got the skills to carve out my own direction and I'm willing to put the time, effort and energy there. That's it. I'm going to make that move. I'm going to make that big choice that I've always wanted to. And I think it's separating yourself from, you know, that normal kind of employed situation and carving out your own path here. Now, the lovers before it was a sort of a card of, of soulmates and twin flames and everything. And the tarot was the big choice card, big decisions around matters of the heart. So I feel like this is the decision, you know, to answer that judgment call to, to move on and work in your own way. Because what I notice in the Eight of Pentacles is this person's working really hard, like it is going to be hard work, work Capricorn, but happily working, happily working, carving out those beautiful pentacles one by one, so proud of what you've created because it's all for you, you know, your gain, you know, you're going to get the profits, you're going to be in control here, so you don't mind putting in the work. The Eight of Pentacles can also be an energy of just making sure you've got your skill gaps covered. Hey, if you're going to go out on your own or start a business, where are your, where are your weaknesses and where are your strengths? Is there any online courses you may need to do, people in your network you may want to talk to in order to make sure that you have everything you need in place? to to make it happen to get it off to a good start now awakening which is the energy of judgment you know came into this this reading as well so there's a real sense here of this move that you're about to make liberating you from a period where you might have felt quite restricted you might have felt like a big fish in a small pond um, you might have felt like it was just getting a little bit toxic for you. It was limiting you, holding you back in some way. So this is all about you moving into your power as the magician of your own life and taking the reins, realizing, well, actually, you know, I've got what I need to work for myself or to, or to step up into leadership. You know, I don't need to, you know, be sort of down here um, not not using my power I really want to use my power in constructive ways here's the eight of pentacles by the way just showing up again at the bottom of the deck here it's time to make it happen time to make it happen for you it's like you've had some kind of wake up call or awakening to the fact that this is your next move next move in career um, judgment is the the card that comes before the world in the major arcana the world is the last major arcana so you might be about to close out a big cycle in your life and that could be the cycle of it. This could be leaving study for some of you and getting into to work or leaving a whole cycle of doing work, doing business, doing life, building pentacles in, in a particular way and um, it's going to lead to much greater happiness, harmony, joy, love, number six. So I love that energy. Now Capricorn, current or focus energy, double nines, nine of pentacles and the hermit called serenity in this particular deck, the star child tarot. Well, I mean both of these are energies of flying solo, flying solo and succeeding. It's really saying that maybe you really don't need to bring anyone else into this fold. You're, you can do this independently, autonomously you can build your wealth, your sense of success on your own. One thing that is going to be important this week and during this journey, Capricorn, is 
tuning into your own wisdom and seeking your own counsel and trusting yourself and backing yourself that's what the hermit does the hermit turns within when answers are required doesn't really you know ask others so much it's more about seeking your own counsel I know I did mention about using your network um, previously you can use your network absolutely you know validation and um, learning and that sort of thing but in terms of the bigger questions and that real intuitive feel of where to place your energy in this journey that comes from within that's the energy of the of the hermit can be kind of a spiritual energy as well especially with the awakening card so this could be some kind of you've had some kind of shift or awakening in your life and you're really wanting to make um, make this decision for some of you there could be an element of spirituality in your business as well but you're showing up here in your earthly energy Capricorn is very successful you're moving towards you know a sense of quality and luxury in your life and you know going from the eight of pentacles to the nine of pentacles it says that I feel like you're going to start getting those results pretty quickly now over here in uh, the outcome energy king of wands nine of wands knight of cups I've got the magician over there as well yeah, so what I'm seeing here is that um, we've got the Nine of Wands plus the King of Wands carries one wand. Let's put let's put you down there for, for a little while, uh, Nine of Cups. This equals ten wands, right? There is a completion, I feel, that needs to happen before you can truly step up. Step up and be seen in, in this new role or this new business or stepping into entrepreneurship or whatever it is for you. Because it's kind of feeling that with... You know, when I said that judgment was the card before the big cyclic completion of the world, well, here we have the Nine of Wands, which is that almost but not quite. Um, what I'm desiring is just one wand away. I'm kind of feeling like I'm still, I'm still sort of uh, one one foot out, one foot in. You know, almost over the line, right? So I feel like the King of Wands is saying, "Come on, you know." let's work together I've got the final one for you you're going to have to leave something behind or release some stress or tension to be fully all in with this new opportunity the king of wands is also a real energy of um, being a visionary and really seeing exactly what opportunities are worth uh, pursuing you know it's that real eyes on the prize energy and then sinking in your power your passion your your potential into them if you started off with the five of wands which is about people not really using their power in constructive ways the king of wands is the opposite you know absolutely honed in and using that power powerfully uh, is the card of leo some of you might be dealing with a leo but it's the card of entrepreneurship um you know really stepping stepping up and leading it is king energy which is exactly where you want to be if you're going on some kind of you know entrepreneurial um journey like this now I've got the Knight of Cups in this reading as well and I'm kind of feeling well I mean I feel like this this journey this is really saying like you're actually going to uh, fulfill yourself on an emotional level with this as well it could be somebody entering to help you in some way I'm feeling a very solo energy it is a, a, a night it could be some kind of messenger that comes in with a with a missing piece for you for this journey it could be the foreshadowing that's like get this area of your life sorted and then for those of you that are single somebody may come in with an offer of love or for those of you that are in relationships saying that this is actually going to improve that area of your life as well because when we kind of step into power in one area then often we you know increase other areas of our lives as well so that's what I'm probably seeing there with the the knight of cups but ultimately you know we're ending here on the magician Capricorn which is saying hey You've actually got everything you need right now to make this happen. You don't need anyone else or anything else. You have the power of that wand. And as the king of wands, you know how to use it. You have the emotional intelligence of the cup, the resourcefulness of the pentacle, and the intellect, you know, that beautiful, tagious energy of the sword. So as your own magician, you can get about transforming your reality, turning these beautiful skills you have into you know golden opportunities that nine of pentacles the message with the magician is to make sure you keep a strong inner game you are going to attract and magnetize back to you what is a vibrational match 
for how you are feeling on the inside. So we must deal to any self-limiting beliefs or you know, any negative money story or anything like that along the journey. I'm not really seeing any of that in your reading. I think the only kind of um, block that we might have here is that nine of wands is that final release so that we can be all in in this and really, you know, trust that you have the potential Capricorn to be really amazing in whatever this venture is for you that is opening up here. Exciting Capricorn. Well, I am going to leave it there and I really wish you all the best with this transition. Do keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective so it won't be everybody's journey in its entirety this week. Feel free to leave me a comment if you're called to share. I do read them all and try to respond to as many as I can. Helps me get to know you guys and connect with your energies and I will see you back here next week for another message.